In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve series RL and RC circuits with differential equations. This is question number four. Consider a circuit containing a resistor with a resistance of R in ohms and an inductor with the inductance of L in Henry's. The voltage drop due to the inductor is L times di over dt and R times i due to the resistor. According to one of Kirchhoff's laws, the sum of the voltage drops is equal to the supplied voltage EFT. Suppose L is 2, EFT is 10, R is 3, and the current at time 0 is equal to 0. Find the instantaneous current with respect to T. So let's go ahead and substitute the values that we know. I'll substitute this 2 into this L, where I have 2 times DI over DT, plus the resistance is 3 times I is equal to 10. What I want to do is separate the I terms from the T terms. That way I can integrate both sides. So I'll take this over and I end up with 10 minus 3I. And on the left side I have 2 times DI over DT. My goal is to get this DI on this side and leave this DT on the left side. So what I can do is reciprocate both sides and look what happens if I do that. I end up with DT over 2 times DI. And on this side, I end up with 1 over 10 minus 3i. And by reciprocating both sides, I can now multiply both sides by di. If I do it on this side, it goes away. And on this side, it gets multiplied to this expression. This leaves us with 1 over 2 dt is equal to di over 10 minus 3i. I can now integrate both sides. Integrating the left side is easy. I can pull out this half. And integrating dt, I end up with simply t. And I want to mention that since this is with respect to t, you want to put the constant on this side. You always want to put the constant with what it's with respect to. And on the right side, this requires a little bit of work. What we have to do is set this part equal to u, let's say 10 minus 3i. And now what we have is the integral of 1 over u which we know is ln the absolute of what we set u as. Now since u isn't just one term, it's two terms, we have to do the following. Where I take the derivative with respect to i, this term goes away, I'm using the power rule here, and this term becomes negative 3 di. Solving for di, I end up with du over negative 3. Now I can pull out this 1 over negative 3 outside the integral, times the integral of 1 over u, which becomes ln absolute of what we set u as. Ln absolute of 10 minus 3i. And the left side has stayed the same. At this stage, we want to solve for c. And to do that, we need to at some point replace this i with 0 and this t with 0. The first thing that I will do is multiply both sides by negative 3. Because by doing that, this goes away. Negative 3. And this becomes negative 3 over 2 times t minus 3c. And on the right side, we have ln absolute of 10 minus 3i. Then what I'll do is raise both sides to the base of e, because that will eliminate the ln if I do that. And over here, we have e to the power of negative 3 over 2 times t times e to the power of negative 3 times c is equal to 10 minus 3i. At this point, I can replace i with 0 and t with 0. Let's go ahead and do that, see what happens. Replacing this t with 0 gives me e to the power of 0, which is 1. 1 times e to the power of negative 3c. And replacing this with 0, I end up with 10. Therefore, our constant, this part, is equal to 10. Now going back to this equation, I have t over 2 plus 10, our constant, is equal to ln 10 minus 3i. And if I solve for i, which is what the question asks for, here's what I get. e to the power of t over 2 plus 10 is equal to 10 minus 3i 
bringing this 10 over, e to the power of t over 2 plus 10 minus 10 divided by negative 3 is equal to our instantaneous current i with respect to time. And there you have it. That is how to solve series RL and RC circuits with differential equations.